Maybe you should uh, fork over some cash. I doubt they'll take it. It's going to Caleb. Plus, oh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Plus, I don't have any cash. <laughs> I have yet to run my mines. I still need to do that. I was gonna say it's available again because Caleb can't use it with him. Mm -hmm. Wait, why why can't he use it? Does Stefano not know yet? I thought Stefano knew. What did something else happen to Caleb? Caleb's in the sky now. What? Mm -hmm. He got upset with everyone telling him it was his fault for Red Horse. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm happily found out this morning, that's why I've been looking after her all day. What the fuck? Fox <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I guess you could like be a pirate and, and ask for the horse, but it might be a little rude. I thought Fuck. you knew. No, I didn't. All right, let's uh, let's continue then. Mm. Sorry for barging in again. Hi, oh. Tori. Good to Charging. see you. Hi. I'm going to my house. Um, <laughs> my Hi, Hadi. Good to see you. Um, I just wanted to stop in and check in and see if Alistair come this way again. I haven't uh, seen him. Alright. Thank you. Appreciate it. He's probably at Keystone now, and then after I go to Keystone, I'm going to stop and use the bathroom, and then I will be... Back here. I'm not really good with names, but is there not Alistair out there? Wait? Probably. There's someone out there, but I thought... What I thought Mr. Alistair was like. I've only met him once. What the fuck was that? Well, an you arrow just got shot over here at the barn, just... so... Oh, what? I can't mm. jump. Oh, nope, yeah. that might have been Hadley. Hadley? It looks like it came Bye. from that direction. Is that, is that your yeah, horse over there? Yeah, that's where it came from. <laughs> I hear Alistair. Yeah, I do too. I just hey. heard his voice. Give me your bow, right now. Oh. Oh, God. And don't go get another one. She acting like out. She at her instead of the building. I think she wants. She should breed these two pigs together. Have a bunch of baby pigs. <laughs> I just want to make something absolutely clear. Those that continue to spread suffering, regardless of the circumstances, are no longer my friends. Oh! I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of blame. And I'm tired of pieces of shit continuing this chain. He's been nursing his wounds. Hello, anybody around? Hi, Stefano. <laughs> oh, there you are. I was just coming back to let you know that everybody got there to safe. Alright, thank you. Um, I'm going to head back to Keystone. So. Yeah. Alright, channel C. Okay. Um. Would you like me to let Could you try and find out? Could you try and find out if that comment that Alistair made was meant towards me? Um, Please. I I can try. It I wasn't can't. Meant for you, I Maddie. can't make any promises, but I don't I... believe it was meant for you in any way. I just don't know who all he considers a friend. That's all. Well, admittedly, he doesn't consider very many. Um. I know. But I Which think... Which is why... I think he was Actually, just getting very protective over John and was displeased. Can you wait a second? I have to grab something for you to give to June. Sure. I'll be back in like three hours. 
Okay. I mean, I just, I feel like he considers me a friend, and I feel like I consider him a friend, and I don't know if there was anybody else over here that he considers a friend at the time. Right, I mean, I, I don't see... And I'm just, I'm worried. Like, you, it doesn't seem like you've done anything in order to warrant that kind of reaction from him. And I pray to God that I haven't. And it seemed like uh, the arrow is what warranted it. Um, and Hadley immediately got yelled at for it. Alright, oh, shit. <laughs> so, um... I'm, I'm fairly certain that Quinn is going to end up speaking with Hadley and telling her that that's not the way to deal with your emotions. Right. Um, but in that particular moment... It's kind of hard. Well, f I mean, know? she's only a five-year-old child. I mean, it's uh, definitely understandable in all of that way. So it's like, but what happened happened, and you know, if he's unhappy about it, I can't make him not unhappy about it. Um, no, and I, I understand him being unhappy about that because I'm quite pissed off that Hadley did that as well. I mean, yeah. I am as well, but I will. Uh, I will talk to him and see. Can you give that to Jim, please? Oh, that is a lot of money. Are you sure? Yeah. What? What is it for? her yesterday. All right. Um, yeah, I can. Uh, I'll do that. No problem. Um, Thank you, Stefano. Do you want? Did she come back down? Do you want me to alter her no to come back down, or? She has not come back down. Her. But I would like to speak with her. Yes. All right. Well, I'll let her know that you want to talk with her already. If, if I see her and she is not out somewhere with Alistair. Yeah. If she can't come down until a little bit later, that's okay. Um, Karis is supposed to be coming down and Karis made some really hurtful comments last night and I don't need June to be put back in a situation with her right now. She made comments towards June? Yeah, that's part of the reason why I think... Alistair may have directed that towards me because I didn't say anything. Right. But to what? be fair, I was also in shock at the time. I don't understand. Like, I, I heard about what happened. I didn't find out about it until we were almost basically here. But what does June have anything to do with? Like, she I, I told Caleb it was his fault that Red Horse died. That, I'm not saying like, it doesn't sound to me like something June would do honestly but I'm not saying it didn't happen I, of course I wasn't there I don't know but it doesn't, doesn't seem right It, uh, it doesn't sound to me like something she would do. I wasn't there either, but I've heard it from a lot of people. Alright. Um, I'll let you know that you want to talk to her, Maddie, and I'll give her the money, Quinn, and I'll talk to Alistair as well. Okay. You both rest. And, uh, Thank we'll you. see you Just again at some point. Ciao. Oh, this gate is locked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's all oh, the other gates are open. Yes, it's no worries, no worries. Uh, June. Yeah. Is Alistair still around? Uh, last time I saw you was over by your little gazebo thing. Okay. 
Wait, um, is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, quickly, can I talk to you in the hospital? What did you say? I had a headache. Can I talk to you in the hospital? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, for one, Quinn gave me this to give to you. Why? She said for yesterday night. I don't know. I I asked her if she was sure, and she oh, insisted. Oh no, no, no! I don't need any money for that. I just was bandaging her. I didn't use any money to make anything. I I figured this was the case. Um, I'll go give it back to her. I'm heading up there anyways. Yeah. That, um. Yeah, Maddie wanted me to let you know that she wanted to talk to you. Um, but also, I Yeah, I was ask, about to head there. Because I'd, I'd heard yes. from Quinn. What the f What happened? Because <laughs> I, was, I was told from Quinn that you told Caleb that he was the reason for Red dying. No, I told Caleb. Okay. So... Caleb ended up in here, and Red ended up in here, because Caleb was hurt, and I told him when he was hurt originally, I said, you need to take it easy, you don't need to be running around, don't go hunting, only ride a pig, if you have to ride a donkey, keep safe, keep inside, you know, the normal precautions when you get mauled by bears, you know what I mean? He had a major head concussion. Right. And major issues i told him to be safe and keep himself safe when he was younger i would tell him over and over you need to think about keeping yourself safe because if you're not safe you put the people that you care about into danger you put them into some position where they can get majorly hurt i told him that so many times because we see it all the time as doctors one person goes yeah, and does course. something stupid five people follow and everyone gets hurt so I told him that his whole life. And when he didn't listen to the doctor's orders and he ended up getting himself hurt, Red ended up in the hospital here helping. I never said it was completely his fault. But it wasn't completely blameless either. I told him that everything that I had always told him was to prevent something bad from happening in the future. I told him I mean, not to dwell on it, but I told him to remember and to grow from it. To well, learn. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to justify to me. Because I, I, I agree. And I know, but I know. <laughs> and, but this, I'm letting you know what I told him. Yes, yes, yes. I told him to remember. To not dwell, but to learn. Everything happens for a reason. But I told him I was upset. I never said it was completely his fault. It's a multifaceted issue. He's not blameless, nor is he completely at fault. But, right, um, of course. I did tell him to remember and to grow and learn from it. He took it as he did. There's nothing you can do about um, it now. Nothing I can do. Uh, but then he went and told everybody that I was telling everyone that he was the reason Red died. The only person I ever talked to about that was him. The only person I ever said anything about it to was him. Maddie was in the room. It, it sounds to me a lot like Magnus, I'm going to be honest. He learns from who he grew up with. He lived in, I don't think he's really ever truly <laughs> liked me Jeez since Christ. Magnus. I, I, I agree. But that doesn't... Doesn't, it doesn't defeat the purpose. There's, there's nothing yeah. I can do about it. Of course. Uh, if people want to blame me, I, I've, had, I've had multiple people threaten me. I've had people come in. Matthew came into town basically parading around that it was all me. Telling me that I should feel pain and I should be, I should know that I'm the reason that he died. Bullshit. I've had kids shooting at me with arrows like in Fox Pass just a bit ago. Are you fucking kidding me? I've had me? people... I no, I'm not. I've had Karis come up to me and said that she didn't want to see my face. That everything that has happened to Caleb is my fault. I don't know what they've what they've heard or anything. I don't talk about these things out like 
In public, Caleb does, did. Caleb over-dramatizes and under-dramatizes as he needs and as he wants. Wanted. Need and wanted. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but it's a human thing to want to blame somebody, and I just am the person that is in that position. <sighs> so um, that's what's going on. Um, but yeah, Kara said that she didn't want to see my face to never speak to her. Matthew has come. I've, I find it terrible that over so many years, so many years, I have helped out every single person who has ever, except for Hadley. Hadley hasn't gotten hurt, but every person who has said something to me. Matthew, I've saved his life many, many times. That one kid saying that I said something and full-heartedly believing it and writing me off and throwing me to the wayside after not even talking to me. The only person who's talking to, talked to me was Dom. He asked me what happened, just like you did. And that, uh, even, that shows a lot more maturity than he had in the past, so that was nice. Stefan was so fucking you know, mad right now. He's so fucking um, mad. I have some more people who want to talk to me in Fox Pass, Maddie. Is someone so I'm gonna head over there and talk to her, see what happens. But right. um, yeah, that's you know what else Tor might have gone like he's he, because Maddie also was curious because of the comment that he made. She was concerned that it was directed at her and wanted it to be sorted Karis out. Karis was in Fox Pass the last night, um, and all this happened, and that's when she basically. She yelled at me and told me that everything was my fault to get out of her face, to just leave, etc., etc. Um, Maddie was there, and Mr. Seth was there, and the door was open in the middle of Fox Pass. And no one did anything. No one said anything. And even when I was in Fox Pass, I just got glared at, and arrows shot at me. So, um, he is upset. At the fact that people are doing that, I guess. And that's what the comment was. That was just after Matthew came into town. And to be perfectly honest, it sound, sounded like he was kind of vengeful as well. So I'm kind of scared. But, you know, it's... See what happens. Whatever happens does happen. <sighs> Alright, well, then you might want to talk to Maddie about that. And maybe she can sort things out with Alistair about it. Because she doesn't uh, Alice want... Alistair's in a weird mindset right now. I he needs to calm down so. and then he'll be able to work through it. But yeah, you know I how people sometimes need to cool off yes, before yes, working yes, of through course. stuff? Um, <laughs> he just needs a bit. Well, sure. Right. But I, do I go, probably should you get go going because I know... Mm. I said to everybody I was heading out and I ended up rounding back out to mm. drop some stuff off. Mm. All right, uh, See you later. Yep, ciao. Sorry for everything. Don't apologize, it's not your fault. We need to have a talk to Matthew. Hello, Piper. Ciao! <laughs> hi, hi. Ciao. What are you two doing? I'm not sure. Last time I saw, he was over here. He went in the gym. I think to process things. So, where is sad? Would be sad. Yeah. Roy just been telling me all about how Jimmy lose all her animal friends, but they think I eat it and has not been protected, and then she said I have to get rid of them because uh. I'm in the fox past and they just be me and you. They just be when animals are her name, and then she just be have to get rid of her. Where is everybody? Who's that? Right here. What? Right here? Yeah, right here. <laughs> oh, God. You all were ghosts for a second. That was real scary. Right, they do. Oh. You might want to stand up and uh, shuffle around a little bit. 
I'm looking for Bert. Have any of you seen Bert? Yeah, Bert the Raven's Reach. I was just there with her. She, I just came she, from there. she might have gone to bed because she said she was going to take a nap. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. okay. I will go back. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you could ask TJ. <laughs> Come on, let's just go inside. Hmm? Or not. Uh, she's okay. going to look for Bert. What? All right. Um, was down on the reach last I saw. Um. Lloyd, can I have a word? Yeah. I need to take a trip to Sundance. Um. Right. I'll be back shortly. I was just. Oh, all right. Be careful. Actually, take it right now. But he's right there at the saloon. We need to have a talk. Come on. A bit. What happened yesterday? Yesterday was a shit ton. Why? With June. With June? Yesterday? Nothing yesterday. Today? That's another story. After, after everything she's done for you, you're just going to turn on her like listen. that? Just at the words of a child. Ah! Listen. Caleb died. I'm and well I ain't aware gonna give to anybody who blamed that kid for that other kid's death, regardless of what they do. You d this isn't about me, nor is this about June. This is about the child. And people blamed that kid. Took his life because people blamed him. Now, yes, he took his life on his own accord. But he deserved support, not heat. What, and you really and think I, that June honestly, went around spreading him. hate about him? Okay. Do, do you really me, think uh, that this, is something that she Stefano. would do? Enough! Tell me this. Then why is every goddamn soul in this county pointing straight to June about this kid? Telling me all these stories about how she blames the kid. Tell me. Because that's all they know, because all Caleb did was go around and, sp and spread these fucking lies about her. Mm -hmm. Just like Magnus did the same thing. Mm -hmm. you did you actually ever go I talk really to her and see what she really actually talked care. to him about? Because she didn't no, tell anybody but I didn't that care. she blames him for anything. She told Caleb what happened and that he should learn from it. That's what she told him. There's nothing to she learn didn't say from it was me. his fault, because it wasn't his fault. What was there to learn from me? For that kid from that. That when you're injured, you should take them seriously. You should listen to your doctors when they tell you not to do stupid things. Indeed. I've lost my care, Stefano, and I don't care what you think. I'll be straight up with you. Then you've lost my respect as well. I don't give a shit. We're done here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? Have a wonderful day. You as well. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow! <laughs> oh my god! That was fucking amazing! <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. That... <laughs> oh.